What's up, guys? This is Chris and Dave from Pardon My American Podcast. Today, we're listening to Metallica, Luke's Eterna, and this is part of my reaction. All right, so Metallica finally comes out with a new song. No one saw it coming. No one knew it yeah. was happening, uh, but here it is. Luke's Eterna. That's what it's called. We had to look this up because I, we want to make sure that that's how it's pronounced. But apparently that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> um, so I've seen a bunch of TikToks and they're uh, playing the intro to yeah, this. Yeah, like teasers to little the song. Little teasers. And, and you're I'm, like, is that real? It's real. It's, it's, it's fucking definitely real. real. Um, and I'm interested to see where it goes. Because listen, I, I love Metallica. Um, I don't listen to them all the time. Uh, but obviously they're one of the one of the best in the metal game. You yeah. know what I mean? They've been around for a long time. So anytime Pioneers. they put something out. Well, they're in there. Yeah, man. I mean, you, you can't talk about metal without talking about Pantera, Slayer, Metallica, Ozzy, Black Sabbath. You know what I mean? Like, they're in that mix of, like, some of the best in the genre. Yeah. Uh, so, they're getting up there in age. Do they still have it? We're going to find out. Uh, let's let's just get this going, dude. Right. Luke's Eterna, Metallica. <sighs> better be good. Like early Metallica vibes. Okay, pause it before we break in here. <laughs> First off the bat, love the guitar tone. It's got a lot of that classic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a little bit more speed. Yeah, um, that's what I was saying. Kind of early Metallica. How it was like really yeah. fast pace. Uh, I will say this: I'm not one of those guys that hated Metallica's slower shit. I got to be honest with you. Like when they came out with uh, what was it, Fuel or whatever. Uh, I didn't hate any of those albums like other people did. Yeah. I, I I understood that there was a, a growth to them. Um, I will say. Um, uh, I love this band. I'm not a fan of Lars, the drummer, all that much. Really? I just think he's, I don't know, he's all right. He's all right. He just comes across kind of, uh, I don't know. I just, there's something about his personality that just rubs me wrong. I think it, he rubs a lot of the music industry wrong, but I don't believe that he's playing that. I, I got to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I don't, like, he's a good drummer. He's a very solid drummer in a lot of ways, but I just, like... I don't know, man. I think that's a little. I think Is there that, might be. You gonna start like a conspiracy, you know? No, I just. I've. I mean, I've seen other people mention it, and I haven't really heard the song. And now that I'm hearing it, I'm like, ah, seems like it could be a little studio magic in that. With you know what I mean? He, that's just not his mo, dude. Like that. That double kick like that is really not his thing. Um, but maybe, maybe. Hey, I you sometimes know. you can teach old dogs new tricks. Well, we'll see. Uh, but so far, so good. Yeah, I like this. Sounds I'm good. Digging. Yeah, this goes right back to that late 80s. He sounds good. Sounds good. Lux. Lux Eternal. Lux Eternal. Yeah, they're bringing this back. Great guitar tone. I'm 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 digging this, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is. Um, I don't. This is not. Okay, so this to me is not reminiscent of their early stuff because their early stuff was was. More no, I was metal. more saying, yeah, the vibe, the, the vibe, the, yep. the the pace, like almost like they're just getting younger and they're just like kind yeah. of reverting back to what they started doing. I think that's their. I mean, historically for them, I feel like that's their their bread and butter. Is yeah. that a little bit faster pace? This definitely does have that older vibe that falls in with like the Megadeth stuff and the other other genre era stuff. It's good because it's different than what they put out the past few albums. Dude, the band, listen, I love the band. I mean, uh, Kurt Hammett, uh, Robert Trujillo, I've actually seen him because he, he used to play bass before Metallica. He was playing bass with uh, with Ozzy Osbourne. Mm -hmm. And um, he's been in a bunch of bands, but um, I have a lot. I mean, he's just a great bass player. 
and I'm a bassist, so I respect him. He's got he just brings something to the table that they haven't had before that to an extent. They're, they've had great bass players, let's be real. Uh, but no, Kurt Hammett sounds great. His guitar sounds great. And listen, uh, James Hetfield, I know he gets a lot of shit, but I fucking love that guy. <laughs> uh, I like his voice. I like him as a person. Uh, I like that he's a hot rod guy. Yeah, you know he's kind of stuck with the whole metal hot rod roots. I, I I dig it. He looks cool, man. Yeah, he hasn't changed a bit the whole time. No, I mean he dresses exactly the same. Like ev- everything about him, besides him getting like sober and stuff, is one hundred percent him. Yeah, for sure, dude. I, I I like I said, the whole band's good. I, and I, and Lars is good. Uh, he's always been in the band forever, and I. I appreciate him. Yeah. He's not my favorite member for sure. Uh, just watching the documentaries and stuff. I will say so far, just the way the guitar riffs and stuff are, parts of this will be on a lot of extreme sports videos. Sure. Yeah, man. I, like, I, yeah, I, 100%. It's got a catchy chorus. Yeah. Um, and I will say this, uh, they they didn't do like the pingy drums mm-hmm. um, because Lars, I think, has a tendency to like want to do his drums a certain way. And that was kind of a downfall for some of the, I can't remember, St. Anger came out and he had that super trash can oh, snare. Yeah. Can, 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 can. And it was just like, everybody jokes about that, how bad it <laughs> sounded. The drums do sound pretty good. The double kick sounds great. Uh, so as a whole package, I'm digging it so far. Yeah. Yeah. Full speed or nothing. Yeah, I would rock this in my in a hot rod. No yeah. Doubt, dude. yeah. <laughs> You can't fucking beat a good guitar solo. No, dude. you it's know what? So good. You know, here's the thing, guys. Uh, like, oh. we grew up in that era where guitar solos were still cool and, like, relevant. People were doing them all the time. And then, if you really think about it, recently, breakdowns have taken over the guitar solos. Oh, yeah. And I'm not saying that bands don't have some form of guitar solo. They do. A lot of them do, and they're, they're decent. But, pff, shit, dude. Like, you can't, you can't just throw that out there like that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like we we miss that. I, like yeah. having a and he's a he's an amazing guitarist. Uh, and and along with a lot of other ones, and hearing him do that, it's just like you remember why they're so fucking cool. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like that right there was an excellent. As soon solo. as the guitar solo comes in, it, the whole song it just kind of gives you chills, and you're just like, oh my god, yes. Just it's just that moment where you get a fucking you get to show people. Yeah. Like, this is how badass I am. You know what I'm saying? And I love it. I love it, dude. I love drum solos. I love guitar solos. More of it. We need more of that, you know? Simple video, but very cool. Fucking rock and roll, baby. Fuck yeah. I really do like that. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, you know. I, that was rad. That was rad. I'm saving that on my phone right now. 
I mean, uh, yeah, <laughs> James Hetfield is like, oh shit, he was born in what, 63? Yeah. So he's what, 57? Is that right? 37? 59, right? Either way, I would love to look like that guy. Saved. I would love to look like that guy when I'm that age. Yeah, right? I just think he's such a cool dude. Like, I know that there's obviously going to be haters and shit, but I just think, like, he's just a cool guy, man. I, I like his voice. He's always had such a distinct voice. You know what I'm saying? And I and I appreciate that. I just, the whole package was really, really good. The drum, I, you know what? The drums sound great, Lars. Good for you, man. Good job with the double kick. <laughs> we'll see. About I that. hope this is a precursor to a new album. Honestly, it is. They already. They, oh, they already. Out. Yeah. So there's an album coming out. I guess it's going to be coming out in uh, April. Um, the album is called. Let me look it up here real quick because I want to. I want to. Uh, right here, my time. Uh, the album will be called Seventy Two Seasons. It's got twelve songs. April Fourteenth, Two Thousand Twenty Three. Nice. This is the first track off of it. If the rest of them sound anything like this, it's going to be a badass album. Well, I think it's going to be rad anyways. Even like there, are, there are huge fans of even the albums that we don't love as much. There are huge fans of those albums, and it's Metallica, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's kind of like Ozzy at this point. Like, you can't put out an album; people are going to buy the shit. Oh yeah, uh, this is going to be a big album, and uh, if it sounds like this, uh, I like it, man. I think it's going to be rad, it's gonna and be awesome. you know they're going to have their slow songs. Oh yeah, you know they'll, which, do, they'll do some. Yeah, give me a little whiskey and a jaw. Whiskey in a jaw. I want more of that stuff. You know what I mean? Like too. I like that kind of shit. So no, great job, Metallica. Awesome. Uh, super, super stoked about that. Uh, I will be saving that on my phone as well. I'm not as uh, quick as Chris is here, but I, I like it. I, I give that a solid uh, eight out of ten. I'll say eight and a half out of ten. Actually, for Metallica, that's an eight and a half, nine out of ten. Ten out of ten for Metallica. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, not on a ten. Uh, yeah. yeah. Eight, yeah, eight and a half, nine. I, yeah. I, I dig the the old school vibe, the fast pace, yep. simple rock and roll, dude. I want to hear that live. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So, guys, go check out the uh, new song. Check out the video again if you want to. It's awesome, guys. Hit that like and subscribe and, yes, and share sir. this. We're trying to grow this podcast. We're trying to get to uh, let's start with a hundred subscribers. If you like what you're doing, subscribe. We do this every day, mm. Monday through Friday. Yep. Uh, please go check it out. Give us a little love. And also go check out Part of My American Podcast if you guys like politics and humor and raunchy shit. That's where that's at as well. 